this is not the video I want to be making, but there's nothing I can do about it now. So I might as well document it so you can see what an idiot I've been. Well, let's just show you. That is not a sight you want to see. So this is my new discus tank. This is the quarantine tank that we're in. You may have seen it in previous videos. But that is not a tank of healthy discus. Oh. They are all still alive at the moment, despite my best efforts to kill them. Um, but I don't know if you can see this. Currently sitting at around 19 degrees Celsius. Discus need at least 10 degrees more than that to be comfortable. Uh, basically, I've tried to freeze them. Let me show you. So, the way my fish room is set up, I have each tank is fed by one of these, which is essentially uh, an irrigation drip feeder type thing. So, you twist the end of the cap. You get a big flow, you twist it the other way, you get a small flow, you can dial it into whatever way you want. This one feeds the discus tank. And I was in here about, so what are we at now? It's kind of half past ten, it was probably about half past seven that I last checked on them. I tweaked this and I don't know what happened, but it was on full flow. Whether it's slipped, whether it's cracked, I've just not had a chance to look at it now. I've just got it out of the tank altogether. But it was pumping freezing cold water into this tank. And I mean freezing because it is, I think it's like a one degree outside at the moment, something like that. And this tank went down to 10, or well, just, just above 10 degrees Celsius when I came in and checked them. And there's nothing I can do. I am. Um, if I just grab the fish out and put them into a warm tank, the shock will kill them. If I just tip in a load of warm water, same thing, shock will probably kill them. So I've been slowly adding warm water in like kind of two to five minute intervals. We've got it up to almost 20 degrees now. I kind of want to raise it roughly kind of two degrees every half hour if I can push it a little bit more than that possibly. They're all still alive, they're all still breathing, but God, that's awful to watch. They're properly struggling. I just don't know how this one's gonna turn out, and it's all my fault. So I've stuck in an extra heater. I've got two heaters in there at the moment. They are gonna hopefully slowly help me get that temperature back up. And it's really just fingers crossed at the moment. So I was just doing my regular maintenance, cleaning up a load of poop. Um, I noticed the tank was starting to creep up a little bit warm, so I tried to dial in. It moves in notches, those little um, things. Moved it one notch, I thought I moved it one notch round to get a little bit more flow in to drop the temperature slightly, because it was running at kind of 31 degrees, I like 29. Tried to dial it in. I don't know what's happened, I don't know if it's broken, if I screwed it up myself. But it's basically, when I came down to look at it, it was coming out fairly strong, freezing cold water. It dropped that tank way down. <sighs> oh, yeah, so there's nothing I can do about it. I can't do anything quickly because that would be just as bad as doing nothing at all. So it's, it's really a waiting game now. I need to find out if there's anything I can do. It's me, making me rethink all my life choices. No, not all my life choices, but if it was the display tank, I've got alarms set up in there for temperature sensors and things like that. Even if it was in the other big tank, which they were in last week. Why well, didn't I leave them there? It again has a monitor on it for temperature. Yeah. It's a freak accident, I guess, but 
probably avoidable, probably down to my own stupidity. Wearing an appropriate shirt for killing a load of fish though, I suppose. I don't know, I'm gutted. I don't know what to say. I'm going to slowly raise the temperature, see if I can get it back up to something a little bit more tolerable. tolerable. Hopefully they'll recover. And um, we'll check it in a bit. We'll go and have a look at them when it's warmed up a couple more degrees, see how they react. Talked about it before. In the fish room, I run automatic water changes because I'm lazy. Um, and that consists of an HMA filter, um, which terminates in one of these things in every tank. These are drip irrigation tips. Um, they basically, they work by you twist them, you hear that little click, um, twist them one way, more water comes out, twist them the other way, less water comes out. So you dial them into all your tanks so as you get an appropriate amount, it just drips in constantly. The tanks overflow and that will go to the drain. I've had a good proper look at the the one in the tank in question, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I don't know whether it's caught when I've been moving it around, because if you catch it, these things do just come off. Um, but it shouldn't have been undone that much, so... It doesn't appear to be broken, is what I'm saying, basically. So, whether I've caught it on something and it's knocked it off, but essentially it was just coming straight out, as if there was no flow control whatsoever, which is why it's dropped the temperature so much. I reckon I was minutes away from them being dead. I mean, they still may well die, but I was minutes away from them being dead just by being frozen to death. Um, I think the best outcome I'm going to get out of this is that they're pretty badly injured. It'll take a while to recover from this, I would have thought, if they do recover at all. Um, it's been another half an hour now. It's gone up another degree. I need to get that up a bit faster than that. Um, so I'm going to do some more warm water changes and bring it up a little bit more. I'll go and check on them in a bit. Right, we're at just after half eleven now. Up here, what have we got? It's just over 20, 22 degrees, 23 degrees. Most of them are at least the right way up and not lying flat on the floor. So that's got to be seen as some kind of benefit. <sighs> Sorry guys. Alright, let's give them a bit longer, see how they do. Uh, it's getting on for half one now. They're all just about upright. The Penang's still listing a little bit. That's this one here. But the rest of them are all upright at least. They're all breathing fairly normally. Temperature is now, what are we up to now? Getting on for 25 degrees. I'm taking the extra heater out now, so now it's just the, the standard one that was already in there. So hopefully, 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 I haven't done anything too permanent. <sighs> So, I'll leave them for tonight now, turn out all the lights, hopefully when we come back in the morning, things will be a lot better, um, yeah, Arr, idiot. I checked them this morning and they were all still alive, but the lights were off and they're very inactive and the lights are off anyway, so the lights should have just come back on, so let's go and have a look. That looks a lot better. Uh, the temperature now is just over 30 actually, so I need to make sure we don't go too hot now. When I checked them before I went to work this morning, they were bang on 30. So, breathing looks normal. The lights have just come on, so it's not that unusual that they're not moving around too much, but at least they're all upright, so that's a good sign. Might have got away with it. Um, right, fine. I'll let them settle for a couple of hours and then we'll come back and have another look. Right, a couple of hours have gone past. 
yeah, they're still not back to their normal selves. Normally when I do something like this, put my hand up the top and give it a wiggle, they're all straight up wanting some food, so they're obviously still in a bit of shock. Um, they're a little bit dark, but their fins aren't clamped or anything like that, that I can tell. And starting to breathe a little bit heavy on a couple of them, but the rest of them are fine. I think we might have made a lucky mistake. Um, just need to keep an eye on things for the next few days and hope I've not done any long-term damage because that's the big worry now. If you are going to lose a heater, it's better to lose it going off and make the tank too cold than it is too warm because they definitely cannot survive that. And that's why I've got things like this up here, the temperature controllers controlling. I've got another one there, another one there, another one on my display tank. They make sure that if a heater sticks on, it's not going to boil the entire tank. Um, but I don't really have any fail safes other than alarms to let me know that the temperature is dropping. So that's just one of those things that you need to be aware of. Um, I'll put a link to a video about my SDC controllers up here somewhere probably. Um, as always, if this has been of any use to you, Drop me a comment, let me know what you think down below. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, that always helps. Um, to end on a more positive note. Look at the little babies. Wow, baby guppies. Imagine how hard that was. Anyway, thank you for watching, uh, sorry I got a bit of a scare, it's probably not a very interesting video. Um, hopefully everything's going to be okay, and we'll catch you next time. Bye!